Hi everybody, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing the readings for May 2019 and this is the tarot reading for Sagittarius for May. So let's see what we have. Oh, we start off with the death card. About four of the readings started off with a major arcana. So for you Sagittarius, this card is Scorpio. It's about transformation and transition. This card is talking about, it's talking about a new life. It's like letting go and letting God deal with this. It's transformation, like a passage, you might say, to a new life or a new you or being reborn, if you'll allow it, you know, if you will allow the transition. This is letting go of what doesn't serve your higher purpose. This is letting go of what you're trying to control and you don't need to control in your life. This is trying to make room for something new and wonderful in your life. It's time for something to end. And even within death and transition, you look at releasing the old you, never being that person again. This is the point of our life, the journey, yes. We all come to our final outcome, but how will we be received? Will we be the same person we came in at? The beginning of time will we be someone a little bit higher vibrational or will we have transcended earthly desires greed avarice um, money you know sex drugs alcohol all low vibrationals to ascend to a high vibrational frequency of light love hope joy and bliss so with this card it's not something to be scared of it's something to embrace if you will be uh, allow yourself to be reborn and rise again as someone new, letting the old ways die. See the old paradigms, the old situations, storyline, patterns, let them go. Let them go and ride into a new life for yourself. So this month may be very cathartic for some Sagittarians that it's a beginning of a new chapter of your life, a new you, a transition, a transitional time. It might not always occur in that whole month. It may just be the beginning of the transition. And again, how will you receive this and allow it? Will you resist it? Will you block it? Will you try and control it? Or will you let it be out of your hands and be vulnerable to this? Oh, look at this. And now we have the devil card. Two major arcanas. These are two cards in the deck that people usually are afraid of when they see them. The other is the tower if they have knowledge of the tarot. But people who don't always freak out when they see these cards. And then seeing them together, this card is definitely saying addictions, drugs, poor behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, too much sex, doing things to excess in earthly things. Again, we talk about earthly things. Are you being greedy again? Are you lying? Are you cheating? Are you sneaking? Are you doing underhanded things? Are you being um, above board? Are you being honest? You know, are you being helpful? Are you being grateful? This is the way you have to look at it. What is controlling you in your life that you're allowing? What earthly pleasures are you over identifying with, if any? It even could be a toxic relationship, a person you need to let go in your life that you feel chained to, but you're really not. You can walk away from them at any time or get them out of your life um, as long as you're not afraid or you're clear headed and have a clear path. Um, so with these two cards coming together, these are majors. So this is a big secret. So your soul is pushing you, Sagittarius, to grow. And with Sagittarius being um, one of the signs that is about higher learning, higher philosophies, it's very important. It's very important. So whether in business, in love, any person, place, or thing that you have personally going on in your life, you need to close out the chapter, really close out chapters of people and places and things and your behaviors in your life that are holding you back. And it's only you because you could free yourself at any time and climb to new heights and be free of this grip that you think someone or something has on you. It's self-imposed limitations, your own fears, your doubts. You got to free yourself from this. Even if it's an illness or an addiction, any material bondage, 
It's lack of self-control, okay, Aries? This is what these temptations are. You need to relax um, and cut these things out of your life, okay? That being said, I, they're saying on the reverse, if this is the complete opposite would be you are hell-bent on being a goody-goody and not doing anything and you limit yourself in life to having fun and adventure. They're saying the new life would be for you to cut loose, relax, have fun, transition into someone who enjoys the joys of life in balance and in moderation, of course. Yeah, so these are two major things. So if you're looking at a love life, a person in, in your life, that's what's keeping you prisoner here and you need to let it go or cut it out of your life. And I know you might not want to hear that. Um, if it's your own behaviors you need to transition from and cut yourself free from those behaviors and welcome in a higher vibration of yourself. Oh, nice. The King of Pentacles. This is King Midas. All right, so this is Earth energy. This is our Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Someone who's very good at business and honest and above board and they are good at finances, investments, banking, even agriculture horticulture, you know, anything, uh, botanicals, very much the earth, this king. And you see his cloak is bearing fruit. The grapes are all there, ready to harvest. He's comfortable in his life. He has beautiful home. He has lands. There's wealth here. But again, this is all attached to earthly things, what this card is talking about. Material things, like I said, money, um, cars, houses, anything to do with matter. And with the kings, you know it's all about the mental realm. So maybe you've been thinking about this a lot. Maybe you want to get from this situation into this. If it's not a person that this is involved with, this is the person that's toxic that you need to get away from, or this is the energy you need to become, this strong Midas touch type of person so that you can govern your own life, rule your own life, and do it with a grounded confidence and bear fruit and be prosperous because it could be an energy that's, like I said, within you or outside of you that is deterring you from having all the riches in life that you want. And the riches doesn't have to be money. Like I said, it can be love, a healthy, loving relationship that lasts. Great health, right? A lot of people say health is wealth. Vocation, trade, that house, that car, a child. This earthly pentacle represents different things to different people. But this person is very stable and grounded in their life. And everything that they touch bears fruit. So they've gotten out of this mindset. They've transitioned from anything that's holding them back within themselves or in their life to get to this stage. And if it is, like I said, a person in your life who's influencing the situation or affecting the situation, this is like a male. It could be a female. Let's say over 35 or 40. Could be a mother figure, father figure or be a father. They're usually a little bit larger in stature. You know, they're not skinny, skinny. They're, you know, a, a bigger person or even a taller person. And they're very good counsel when it comes to finances. And they're very good grounded uh, energy and they know how to get things in their life. But again, above board, no dishonesty here. This person is a good example of success with working hard and bearing the fruits of your labor. Oh, how nice. Another major arcana for you with the star. This is having your wishes come true and your dreams. This is keeping hope alive. So if things have been going kind of funky for you and you're, you're not really sure which way you want to go, this card is talking about, um, and this is Aquarius, by the way. So it's freedom. It's forward thinking. It's progress in your life. All right. This is saying be patient. Help is on the way. It's coming for you. But how much do you want this? Will you be willing to wait for the divine timing of this? Or are you going to push it and try and control it? If you can wait and keep wishing on your star, it will come to you. I guess it's not going to be fast or easy, but help and spirit is on the way for this to come to you. So your dreams will be fulfilled. Your wishes will come true. It's a very important card of healing, I have to tell you, Sagittarius. Very important card of healing. So it's either healing from this relationship, healing from this addiction, healing from this illness, healing from this thing in the physical world, because this is all about earth, earthly things. 
okay, and transition. Whatever has been holding you back or limiting you, especially Jupiter is all about expansion and rural Sagittarius. You don't like being held back. You want to control all the things in your life to bring you the best, starting with your thoughts, okay? So try and give up trying to control it in the physical. Turn to your spiritual side to help dreams being fulfilled for you right now. It's about healing your heart, your life, giving you hope again in business, in money, in relationships. It's a very inspirational card, and it's about spiritual renewal. And when death comes, it's talking about that transition to the new you, the new life being reborn. So this, again, ties in what your soul is longing for. Um, it's about love being given and received, a great love, happy marriage, your wish is coming true. That house, like I said, the great job, moving out of the country if you wanted to, or that, that dream vacation, whatever it is for you. And in May, this is very big. It's a big month for you, Sagittarius. There's going to be a lot of soul searching, soul growth, and evolution when you will allow it. You have free will. And of course, if you don't want to allow it, then your life will stay in this non-transitional state and it will just bring more things to challenge you. The soul wants you to rise to the challenges so that you can ascend. And when you leave this life, you will be at a higher level of self when you reach the other side. And there'll be less work for you to have to bring back the next time karma, right? So I hope this helps you and gives you some peace. Thanks for watching, sharing, and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. I'll see you guys next month. Have a great May, and as always, I wish you the best.